to be so much grace in your teeth. We got a big problem in helping to make this possible and helping to keep this going. So that's uh, the part that we ask out of you guys. With two laps to go, uh, and the third car is running in fourth and he squeezes in there, grabs second, and got it away from his big brother there over the, uh, the closing lap. He's got a nice little rivalry going there as well. But, uh, a big thank you as well to cooperation of all our drivers and uh, the fans for uh, indulging us and running this show in quick mode and getting everything done, getting the full program in, and uh, unfortunately not the heat races, but we did beat the weather, and we appreciate everyone helping to make that happen. In victory lane, your top three here with the, uh, <laughs> with the uh, Woodpella Warehouse Lane Model Sportsman. This guy matching the season best for the fourth time this year as a third place finish. In car number 33 out of Liberty, Josh St. Clair comes home in third. Uh, yeah, little brothers. Uh, yeah, tell them tell him what happened there, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> down there in victory lane, picking up a top three finish today. Uh, his best of the season in car number 30 out of Liberty. Ryan St. Clair comes home in second. And what a day for this guy. Uh, he's had his share of tough luck, but turns it around and picks up his first win in two years here at Wisconsin. In the number 29 out of Fairfield, your winner today is Ben Erskine. So again, we want to thank you guys for joining us here at Wisconsin Speedway. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Last the word, regular show next week. Pit gate at 2, grandstand gate at 4, green flag drops at 6 o'clock with all our group 1 divisions. And I uh, hope you guys can join us tonight. For Vanessa and Richard Jordan and the entire staff here with Chassis Speedway, have a great rest of your weekend, travel safely, and then you take us home.